Hi, it's David here with Futures Trading. We had 235 on yesterday, and now we had 241. So we welcome you guys, and thank you for coming on board. We're so glad to have you here. This is a community of caring. We're looking for fellow professionals that's willing to show the proper etiquette of being polite towards others that's in the profession. Really want you to know that we need people like that. Now, the channel is all about trend. We want to make sure that you know that, but we do cover a couple other things, but the channel is mainly about trend and caring. So if you don't mind, I know the holidays is here, but we would like to see you care about someone else beside the people you already care about. It's really easy to do that. So try to care about someone you don't even know. You'll be surprised how impactful that can be into their lives. Now, we did not purchase any likes, subscribers, or views. We, we don't do that here. We don't want to deceive you into thinking that there's a level of uh, information here that may not be. All right, so what we do is we try to show you from the start of the video what we had since the last video. And then, of course, we use thumbnails of the chart that we went over. So that way you're not enticed in any kind of way uh, to want to be here. All right. We're not trying to entertain you. Just want to inform you of some information. And hopefully as a whole, collectively, we can all see the chart the same. That's the main goal. So we want to make sure that there's no variance, if you will, in your bottom line. We want to make sure that whatever results I get or anyone else get for that matter, we want to make sure you're able to get them too. All right. So and the only way we can do that is to try to make sure that you can see the chart just like us. All right. So hopefully we can get that done. This is a library. OK, so you're new to the channel. This is a library. I'm going to be reframing from doing a lot of uploads, definitely educational content because there's so much here. And I wanted to make sure that it's a library. So I did quite a few videos here recently to make sure that that's there for you. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go back to what it was when I first started the channel, just give you some targets, kind of go over trend, trend distance so you can better see the chart. But there's a lot of content, and I'll make sure I leave some links below for you. All right, so welcome again. So glad to have you on board. And just wanted to raise a standard on the channel. A couple of videos I had to do yesterday, and I don't want to leave it like that. I want to make sure that you're able to see some information that can be useful right away. All right, so they kind of did a decline on yesterday. As you can clearly see, it took that shop drop. We was hoping to get them outside of this uh, the static level here. They didn't want to close, but let's see if they can get it done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an adjustment here because they, they clearly dove down. I thought they was headed for that target, but they managed to change their mind. So let me make an, an adjustment here. And again, I hope you're listening to the market. It's really important that you guys do that. All right. I'm so glad that you uh, you guys are getting some results and you you know definitely like the fact that I'm sharing this information. But I thought that they can move forward maybe to go get this target. But again, there's a target up here they need to hit. So maybe they're they're going to turn around and begin to work their way back up, which is good. So here's the static. I don't know if you watched me uh, change that, but I'll do this so you don't have to pause the video and go back. Uh, 850 to 750. And then your stop would have to be uh, one tick outside of 750. As you can tell, they kind of dove down and they kind of stopped short of that. All right, so 58, 750, 50. So Got really close, but now they're coming off of that. So they're trying to head back up. At least I expect that that's what's going to happen moving forward. I thought that they would take that dive. I didn't. So in yesterday's video, I was aiming for that 719. It was a 719 price down there as well as like a 528. And I said that would make sense if they were to go get it. But uh, clearly what they are doing today, it may not happen. I don't know. But I wanted to make sure I shift this so you can see it. Now, if they're not going to go, go here, uh, clearly they should wind up up at that 7. 7550. So they should at least get there. And so let's see if they can get that done. Now let's go into the one minute chart. And again, this was yesterday when I shot the video and told you guys they, they can possibly, possibly get that 719. Came really close, changed their mind, and even gave you, uh, I'm co of course, everybody a hard time today uh, with this whole up and down. And so they're not willing to do it. And there's that 528. And I even showed you guys these targets, and I did say I hope they don't get down there that far. So, but we'll see. So right now they're they're back up and they're trying to make their way back up. So we're we're going to see what that looks like. You can help yourself to the ranges. Uh, the ranges are important. Uh, you can kind of see here they kind of did a catalyst right off of that at the uh, eight thirty mark here. They kind of took off to the upside and jumped up there, and then they turned around and came right back. All right, now the middle of the range kind of gave you another bounce right back up there kind of clean everybody out of this run this run down here and then of course just kind of got real fussy right down in this area of course ran the stops and then now we're pushing back up all right so had a had a nice little spike there so now let's see uh what this one minute chart is all about and then we're going to look at that 15 second chart just for a little bit and then i will let you go 
there's the trend. Remember, I told you the mid of the reversal is important. Uh, they managed to close above it, but still decline. All right. They still managed to drop down. Got the mid of the reversal down here. And, you know, the thing about it is, if you're new to the channel, and the main thing that I've been covering here recently is how to look at the market in parallel of yourself. Whenever you have an idea, you have the end in mind. All right. So you have the end in mind. And so when you see the trend, it's a thought. And so you have the distance that's associated with destiny. If you're thinking of something, there's a particular place or something that you would like to have. It's an end to it. And so it should kind of mimic what it is that you was thinking about. It should be one and the same because the end was in your mind when you had it. OK, so that's why the trend distance look like this. Now, you're more than welcome to use whatever approach you would like. But that's the reason for why they look the same. All right. So new here and you don't know that's all i'm doing all right it's really simple now they didn't want to get to this distance down here they just didn't want to make it now these are the ranges that i just showed you on the other chart they ran up there uh to that that prior trend here and then of course they leaned over and then made that trend distance that was in there all right and then they ran right into that mid that mid that was here they ran right into that and then bang there's that that jump at 8 30 kind of just jumped up there and then they got up there and just did their little turnaround. There's the center of the trend or the cost of the thought, primary and secondary values. Okay. One ranks a lot higher than the other. That's all you got to, you know, kind of just think of. And so when they hit the center of the trend or the cost of the thought, it's evaluating whether or not it's worth it. All right. And so and there's your uh, decline. All right. So that's what it looks like. Kind of get you know, the, the mixture there, you know, they'll make it halfway and they turned around. All right. And in some cases they won't make it at all. You'll find that they'll just absolutely abandon that concept. And so that's something that you would need to take a, make sure that you take a look out for it. Make sure you do that. Now from above, you know, we had this here. All right. Now I'm going to just kind of push this forward here and we're back up here and we're hitting that uh, mid of that turn as well. All right. So that's that information there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look at that 15 second chart. And I'm going to try to read just a little bit of it uh, with you probably about, let's see if we can do at least 10 minutes here. Let me see. Let me see if, let me re reload this chart. My bar timer, so I mean, well, my clocks tend to go out sometimes. All right. So it's 406. I'm going to try to give it to like 416 and then I'm going to be off of here. But that's what you have with that daily. They're in that zone and they're, they're kind of bouncing out of it. So they can definitely keep going up. Now, this is the chart scale. And all we're doing, if you're new to the channel, this is all we're doing. We're taking your, your chart, the frame of your chart, all right, just the frame, okay? And we're going from top to bottom, okay? And this is all we're doing. And we're dividing it in half, all right? That's all we do. And then this lower half, we pretty much do the same thing just with the lower half. You just divide the lower half in half. All right. So it's all about majority. It's all about majority. That's all it is. So if they're still above here, that's majority. They can keep going up. Now, I do see that there's a trend here. It is. But just looking at the chart scale, because sometimes they'll put two trends on the board and try to confuse you. So just looking at the chart scale, they're still somewhat bullish. Now, if they start to fall under here, clearly the next... uh expected distance that they'll probably get to is this all right so but for the next now again a few minutes here we'll we'll take a look and see what's possible but that's all this is we're dividing the chart in half now if you don't know the price pattern i'll go ahead and tell you about it all we're looking for and it's very simple we're looking for majority because majority rule okay and then when the majority rule is there is the more you know when more more than half of the total when that's in place the minority would have to follow what the majority suggests, all right? And that's all it is. So what we're doing is we're trying to get more than half of the bar, half the bar or more beneath the prior bars low, all right? If we want to go down, all right? So only if we want to go down. So the midpoint, if it's beneath that low, we go down. And if the midpoint here is above this high, we can go up. And that's what making for the green and the levels and the NC, all right? That's what's making for that. Now, you don't want to wait until this bar closes. You, you don't have to. Now you can, but you don't have to. While it's moving, okay, that black floater that you're seeing right here is the mid of the current bar. Now I'm gonna open this up just a bit, okay, so you can really see the candles. And I know it's gonna change where it's at just a bit, but it, it's still relative. All right, so we're out in the upper half of the chart. That black floater right here is the mid of the current bar. Now you know, clearly it's 408. All right, so the volatility is definitely slowing down. 
But that's what's making for the change of the bar color. And it's just real participation. So wherever you're seeing that, let's see if they, yeah, they pulled up to it and then turned around. So wherever you're seeing that red or that, you know, of course the green on this side, but even though this bar green is red because this bar is mid fell beneath that low of this green bar. So this bar turns red and say, hey, this real participation coming in and they pull up and then they turned around. All right, so it's really simple. Don't wanna make it complicated. Now, of course, right here, if they continue to go down, this bar right here would turn red. And of course, that, that level would, would be there, all right? They're hitting the back of this green bar. And I know it's extremely slow right now, but I'm just trying to give you something to go with, all right? So there's the uh, green bar. They've been tagging it, didn't want to break it. Now they're giving you, you know, of course, the opposite. Now let's see which one is going to win. And this is a no close. So the bar that the mid had got above the prior bar, that bar's low becomes the no close, or this one becomes the, the no close, the high of it. All right, it's really simple. Now let's just give it a couple more minutes here and let's see if it can move down just a few candles. And that way you can kind of get a feel for how all of it works. All right, it's really simple stuff. Really simple stuff. And you can obtain the, uh, the chart scale, the green, black, and red line. You can get that, I'll send it to you if you want it, it's free as well as those ranges. And there's another template too with the statics, but I'm not gonna show you that, but it's just price levels that's always in front. And that's the main thing about the information I'm trying to tell you about. It's always in front of the candles. So you don't have to look left if you don't want to. It's really important that you understand that. Now, let's see if they can keep going, going down. I know, again, we have a trend here. Let's count our bars and see if they even make a trend up. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, you get it. It's here. The one next to it is seven. All right. So typically they should go that distance, but we can kind of see at this point that that may not take place. All right. So now if there was a chance that it was going to do it, you would look to the center of the trend itself. And usually, just usually right at the center of the trend or the cost of the thought, you would see a bar that's indicative of majority. All right. And that'll kind of give you an idea of this is where I may need to be. Let me see, can I aim and get that that distance, that distance right there, uh, back out, all right? Really simple stuff. That's one, that's two, that's three, four, five, six, and they almost about to make a trend down. So let's, let's go with that again. Now it can't be both. So let's see if they'll make a trend down or are they gonna turn it back around? Nah. Let's I'm gonna give an estimation on this. So let's go something to this effect. I'm gonna just kind of throw this right here. That'll put them, that'll put them here. That'll put them down here. We we're just gonna give something like because we just need one more close right beneath here if they're gonna do it. Now they're operating beneath the center of this this trend here. Now, if you look at it for the sell side. Let's say it's on the sell side of it all. All right, so if they were to make that one more lower, clearly it would be the center right about here. So right about here, give or take. All right, so now you got a, a couple of participation bars sitting right here, right here. So that, that would kind of make sense if they wanted to go down, that they'll pull up. Uh, you can hide your stop somewhere back here, a couple of no close levels. You don't want to see them closing above the NCs. And then aim down and hopefully they can get to about right here. Because we're just looking for a close that's lower than this this close right here. That's it. Now, you can wait until the, of course, the trend is set and then participate. Or you can some way get ahead of it if you know what to look for. All right. So usually whenever you have a thought, the market is like us. Remember, there's a parallel because there, this is a marketplace of decisions. That's what it is. It's not just prices. I can assure you. Every price level is indicative of a thought. So there's an evaluation of costs right near where it plans to turn. So just try to keep that in mind when you trade. It's really simple. Really simple here. Don't want to be before you long, but I see they're trying to go side to side. And let me tell you about that so you'll know. Because we're looking for real participation with that diagram that I showed you, well, the opposite of real participation and is CHOP, if, if you want to go with that term. I, I do believe that the market is always trending, just you may not be looking at the time frame that's doing it on because it's fluid, all right? So it's fluid. So that's what I mean. So whenever you get a bar and it, it, it does this, and that's all it is, and the mid of the bar is resting inside of the prior bar, that's over that overlapping. That's, that's the chop. And so you get 
you know, this. And so you don't need a whole bunch of bars to know you're in chop. That's absolutely unprofessional behavior. And I don't want you to go about it like that. What I want you to do is just look at it for these two. Make sense of two bars because every bar is the same. It's like the alphabet. You get 26 letters and then you speak 7,000 words in a day. The bars have open, high, low, and close. That's just four. And then it multiplies itself over and over and over again. But it's still the same open, high, low, and close. It's just like the alphabet. No matter how many words you speak, it's still the 26 letters. And so when you see just two bars, make sense of two bars. What is two bars telling you? Just two. And so the more you keep seeing the two bars and you keep seeing the two bars just constantly reiterating the same message, just listen to it. It's really simple. Just listen to it. And the sooner that this pattern show up, the better. I will tell you that too. That's another thing you'll want to make sure you pay attention to. The sooner that it comes in, the better. It didn't really come in that fast here. It didn't. So it came in kind of fast here and they blew past it. <laughs> so let's let's see what happens. Let's see if they can get back up. Let's see. Took them a took them a you know a revisiting of this bottom before it, you know it stepped back in. But let's see. They may want to do that distance. So let's let's just move this over here just to get an idea of whether or not it's possible. That's saying that they can get up here, which is roughly inside of this uh this bar right here. He had a small reaction here, just a small one with that, that green bar. You know, it came off its high really quickly. They may react just a little bit right here. We're not getting the one on the bottom as of yet. We're we're not getting that. We just needed to be just a little bit lower. Close just a little bit lower than here. Let's see. I'm trying to give it a couple minutes so you can see it in real time. And again, all we're trying to do is get that mid uh, beneath that low or, of course, the mid above the high. That's all we're looking for. Majority. That's what we're, we're going with. Majority is more than half of its total. All right. Just more than half of its total. That's it. Try to look at the market very it's very systematic. It's, it's doing the same thing. You just need to know what to look for. That's all. It's doing the same thing every day, all the time. It's just like us. When we wake up, we, we're always thinking. Kind of, you know, once we wake up, we have goals and we plan and we move towards those goals. The market is doing the same thing. It's all That's all it's doing. Even though, it, you know, the bars may be bigger than, you know, some, and it's still thinking. Okay, just look at it like that. Just look at it like that. Some bars may be bigger, some may move a little faster, but... At the end of the day, it's still trying to get to a destination. All right. Let's see if they can go ahead and move past these uh, two red bars here. Let's see. Let give it one more one more second. I just want to see if they can get through this high or either come back uh, down to that, that low. And again, just trying to use the content that's on the channel. That's it. There's so many other things that I can tell you, but this this to me is simple and it should be very useful for you, I think. Definitely if you knew, you should be able to absolutely pull up any chart with no indicators on it and just have an idea of what should happen. I would say that. Now, you're more than welcome to use whatever you like. Please don't change your approach to the markets. Just add this to it. All right. That's all you got to do. Add this to it. Let's see. Can it can it absolutely do it? Let's see. Let's see if it can just push right through this high. Let's see, can it push right through that 49.49.50? And that would be that distance of that, that trend right there off that bottom. Now, this is a no-close level here. I don't know if you paying attention to that, but this is a no-close level here, okay? That bar right there is a no close level and you can tell they, you know, went up to it and kind of banged the head up against it a bit. And they're at that uh, roughly right at that distance there. All right. So I wish you all the best with your trading. Again, happy holidays to you guys. Merry Christmas to you. Show someone that you care that you're not already caring for. Try to find a total stranger and just let them know that you care about them. Really, if you if you don't mind, I put that challenge in front of you. Just please just take the time. And not just for the holiday. Try to do that next year too. Just get at least one person a month. If you don't mind, just one person a month. If if you can't do it every day, just one person a month and let them know that you care about them. And make sure they are a stranger, someone you don't even know.
All right. So I wish you all the best with your trading. Take care.